What is up this year? LA in a minute. And who would have thought in this land of abundant sunshine and endless beaches, something that would change the ice forever would be invented right here in Los Angeles? That's right. I'm talking about the Zamboni. Let's get into it. So there are all of about a dozen ice rinks in Los Angeles. By way of comparison, there are more than 500 ice rinks in Montreal where the sport of ice hockey was invented. Here's a map showing the per capita ice rinks per person in Canada and the United States. Look at California, barely even a blip. Even in Russia, where there are thousands of rinks, both indoor and outdoor, they didn't invent the Zamboni. So how did the most important advancement in ice preservation become invented here in Los Angeles? The story starts with Frank Zamboni, who was born in Idaho in 1901 and spent most of his childhood tinkering. At the age of 15, Frank dropped out of school to start fixing cars, and by 1920, he moved with his brother Lawrence to Los Angeles to work in an auto repair garage. By 1927, the brothers were manufacturing ice blocks, which they sold to produce farmers. However, in the 1930s, major advancements in air conditioning and cooling threatened to put the brothers out of business. Coincidentally, buoyed by the 1924 Winter Olympics, a new industry was emerging in ice skating rinks. However, the prevailing technology at the time often left the ice bumpy and ripply. However, Zamboni and his brother, Forever Tinkerers, came up with a solution. They circulated brine water and ammonia refrigerant under the ice, an approach that resulted in a smoother, more uniform skating surface. They secured a patent, teamed up with a cousin, and opened their own ice skating rink. Iceland Skating Rink. It was unlike anything in Southern California at the time. It was 20,000 square feet, one of the largest in America, and it could house 800 skaters at once, here in Los Angeles. However, smoothing out the ice was still terrible and time-consuming. It was daunting. The techniques at the time took 90 minutes to two hours just to smooth out the ice. So for nine years in the hot California sun, Zamboni tinkered and tinkered and tinkered. In 1949, the hard work paid off and the Zamboni ice resurfacer was debuted. It could smooth out the ice in only 15 minutes, saving significant time for anybody involved on the ice. Zamboni sold his first machine to a competitor, the Pasadena Winter Garden, for $5,000, which would be approximately $54,000 today. A huge break came in 1950 when Sonia Heine, a Norwegian film starlet and Olympic champion skater, spotted one of Zamboni's contraptions at Iceland and ordered three of them for her personal use on her international figure skating tour. Since 1949, there have been 12,000 Zambonis that have been sold and they still roll out 250 a year from their manufacturing plants in Sweden, Canada and right here in Los Angeles. Frank Zamboni passed away in 1987, but his company still dominates the ice, and it all started in the land of sunshine. All right, LA, it's been a minute.